morning time is uh quarter past nine dragged myself out of bed i'm going to a spin class this morning i'm absolutely terrified spinning for those of you who don't know is sitting on a static bicycle and going for it for about 45 minutes and i'm dreading it i've been to a spin class once before in my life which was a few years ago and it was so awful that I never went back. <laughs> so why I've decided to do it now, I don't know. Basically because I need to get fitter and I need to lose a li little bit of weight or tone up at least. So I don't want to run, I don't like running. So I'm gonna try spinning. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hate it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hate it. It's gonna be hell. Anyway, so I've booked this spin class. It's 45 minutes. And then I've booked straight after a Pilates class. So I'm hoping that that's going to be my my reward for um, for getting through the spin. It's absolutely horrible out there again. It's the third day of rain, non-stop rain here in the UK. So it's very depressing. So, okay, I'm really nervous. I don't want to do this. Let's go. We've arrived. We've arrived. God. Right, I've got to go in. It's 9.36, class starts 9.45. Need to get myself a bike at the back, hopefully, to hide uh, or to fall off. <laughs> Bridget Jones styley. Yes. Let's do this. You can 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 do this. Hiya. Am I tempting to spin? Um, and, then, and then I've got Pilates. Oh. Hi guys! I survived. Oh my lord. I mean, spinning is vile. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's vile. But I might go back because uh, obviously you can, you know, you can do it to your own standards. Like she was saying, turn the thing up, turn the thing up, the intensity. And I was like, mm, no. <laughs> so I just kind of kept it, you know, to what I could do really. But I was dying and then it, it ended late. And then, so I had to leave the class slightly early to get to the Pilates class. So when I got to the Pilates class, I was like dying really, like beetroot red, couldn't breathe. <laughs> so lesson learned won't be booking a class straight after a spin class because that's that's a bit crazy i'm gonna go home and get in the bath wash my hair and get ready to go meet my friend for a coffee it's currently peeing down for the third day in a row so we'll be sitting inside that's for sure Whew. well that's me out of the bath <clears throat> as you can see so I'm um, looking very good. Mm -hmm. Can't believe it's June. It's nearly halfway through June and it's horrible, quite frankly. Horrible. Thought I'd show you my little diffuser that I bought the other day. Quite pleased with it. Maybe could have been a bit bigger just to give me more scent in the room, but it's a good sort of first time. Look, you can see it all spewing out the top there. It's a good first timer cost me um, $14.99 in TK Maxx and you can you can change the colours so it um, goes through different colours and then you can pick the colour that you want and stop it on that colour which is quite funky so press it again and it'll stop on the green and that's no light and then you can just have a plain white light and the, the mister is just it's just on or off. It seems to be doing a fairly good job. I'm quite pleased with it. Morning, guys. I'm really sorry. My vlog yesterday didn't really go anywhere. Basically, because I didn't go anywhere. Got back from spinning and stuff. And then I went to meet a friend for coffee. 
and then I just came home sort of did nothing and I got really cold because it was so miserable out there and just didn't have anything to vlog for you so I didn't so today is the next day it's Friday and I thought we'd um I'd add this on I'm gonna make that tiger milk this morning I've had the tiger nuts soaking um for over 24 hours so I hope they're okay yeah I thought I'd give that a go this morning so I'll show you Alrighty then, so Tiger Nut Company Nut Milk. Right, soak the tiger nuts for 24 hours in water. Done that. Drain and pop into a blender with 400 millilitres of water. Blend until thick and creamy, then strain using the nut milk bag. Okay. Smells a bit funky, I must admit. We are milking nuts. Milky, milky. Squeezy, squeezy. Wow. Doesn't look very nice in there, look. So, I've uh, strained my nuts. It doesn't smell very nice, I have to say. Okay, that said I could have added cinnamon and a date, but I haven't got a date, so I'm gonna try this. Au naturel. Thank you. Here we go. Hmm. Uh, it. Weird. <sighs> What's it remind me of? Hazelnuts. Watered down hazelnuts. It's actually not bad. I think with some with a date in there and some cinnamon, yeah, could be could be very nice. Who knew? Tiger nut milk. Very interesting. Very interesting. nut milk not too shabby thought I'd just show you the pulpy stuff so this is what I've been left with this sort of weird dryish pulp mm. I have to say it's completely tasteless well, I might try and make this snack ball thing it's got here. Half an orange, coconut oil. I don't know if I've got any coconut oil. I don't. Oh, I do. Hallelujah. Okay, coconut oil, half an orange, cacao powder, chia seeds, cashew nuts and linseeds. seeds. So the only thing that I need is an orange and some cashew nuts. Well, I've had my brekkie. I'm just having my uh, coffee. Got my little zhuzhi thing going there, my um, diffuser. I can't really smell it that much. It's it's better than synthetic fragrances, isn't it? I think I might read my In The Moment magazine for a bit. And then, um, I don't know, don't know what the day's gonna bring.
the time is half past two. I have just been sitting around reading and looking into solo holidays. How depressing. I'm kind of getting to this stage now where I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and do it and go away on my own, either with a group specifically for solo travellers or just on my own. I don't know, I don't know. I need a holiday, I haven't had a holiday for four years, a proper holiday. So I think I'm due one, and I think mental health wise, I need one. Anyway, enough of all that. I'm gonna walk to the supermarket, pick up a few bits, and I need some vegetables for tonight, and what else do I need? An orange and some cashew nuts. Anyway, I'm gonna walk there, because it's very good for you, and it's actually not raining, and there is even a little bit of blue sky, which is a miracle. Um, scattered with clouds, obviously, but it's there. Um, so yeah. Let's go. Aren't they gorgeous? <laughs> I was hoping to show you an alive stag beetle, but this one has been squashed, which is a shame. This is the time for stag beetles and Sometimes they're on the road and you just have to move them off, but obviously that one was not lucky. Found one. Just trying to get it off the road. Silly creature. This way. This way. Come on! Oh. <laughs> Oops. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Honestly, this country goes from one extreme to the other. It's absolutely boiling. Well, I say boiling. It's not boiling compared to, you know, America. <laughs> but compared to yesterday, which was like 12 degrees, today must be 19, 20 degrees. And of course, you have no idea when you leave the house. So it's boiling. And then I carried back this huge shopping bag because I spent too much. But they were reducing everything and you know, you can fill your freezer. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so anyway, I'll show you what bargains I got. Okie dokie. Oh, I'm sweating. Look, I'm, I'm sweating. It's that hot. I got two breaded lemon sole reduced to £3.55 from £5. Four venison steaks. And they were reduced from 6 99 to 2.99. I got um, cod salmon and smoked haddock fish pie mix, which was reduced to 2.99 from 3.99. Strawberries for me tonight, reduced to 1 pound 69. Thai salmon fish cakes, they were reduced to 1.99 from 4 pounds 19. And this is the biggie. This is why I struggled on the way home. I got this monster. This is like enough for a family of four. But this was reduced from 9 99 to 4 99 And there's this whole, whole spatchcock chicken in there with potatoes and onions and herbs. It's called ma masala spice spatchcock chicken. I got some cordial in glass, um, wouldn't normally buy this one because it's more expensive, but they had a special offer on, so this was only a few pence more expensive than my normal, which is in a plastic bottle. So I was really pleased about that because every time I buy my squash, I wince. <laughs> um, I didn't buy any cashew nuts because all the cashew nuts, n none of them were in any kind of recyclable packaging. <sighs> so I just couldn't. I just couldn't. 
So what I'm going to do instead of the cashew nuts is stick one of my protein bars in, one of my naked protein bars, and see if that works. I don't know, but I've got it already in the cupboard. I didn't want to buy something else just to throw in the bin. Potato for tonight. I've got some cream to go with my strawberries. I've got some sleepy tea. Clipper sleepy, well it's not called sleepy tea, I call it sleepy tea. Sleep easy infusion. And they're plastic free tea bags and they're really nice. I really like those. I don't normally like herbal tea, but I really like that one. Dentures. <laughs> they are actually for me. Um, I have a retainer that I have to put on at night and that cleans it. Orange, one orange. I also got three lottery tickets because I need some help. Please God, I need some help. Bargains, I think, bargains. Right, I've got all of my ingredients ready to make my weird um, energy balls. And I found a, funny enough, a cashew cookie naked bar. So I'm gonna whack that in with it and see if it helps. So um, yes, here we go. One. Disastrous. So it's half an orange, skin included. It's going to be very pithy, isn't it? Pithy. Hmm? Okay. Half an orange. I'm sure you need to take the pips out. I'm going to chop it up. Mm -hmm. Skin included. It's very dry. Maybe I should have melted the coconut oil. The ninja. Mm. It doesn't do anything because it's not wet enough. a bit of binding. Let's try that. Oh, this is useless. So this is the current situation. <laughs> Putting all the mixture now into this food processor that I've just found in my cupboard. Um, and I'm praying that this is um, going to do the job, but who knows? I'm sure this is enthralling for you. <laughs> Check that out. That looks quite protein bally. Here we have tiger nut, orange, chocolate, protein balls. I'm quite pleased with them. I have created some water mess in the kitchen. <laughs> I think they might be slightly too wet because mm, I did add the tiger milk because at one point I was trying to do it in the wrong thing. But hopefully in the fridge they might harden up a bit. I don't know. Let's see, shall we? Let's see. So I've made my supper. I have got little roast potatoes, lots of broccoli and a quail. I found these quails in the freezer, so um, I cooked them. <laughs> so I'm going to enjoy that. Oh, I'm looking forward to this very, very much. Here's my pudding. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Pretty good. Watching Chernobyl which is uh, pretty scary, I'm about halfway through the first episode, and it's pretty good. Oh my goodness, right, okay. I think I've watched two episodes of Chernobyl, and it's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. Oh my gosh, so, so scary. I mean, it was real, that's what's, that's what's so scary about it. It makes you feel a bit sick. 
when you're watching it because it's just so awful. Yeah, awful. Anyway, um, I'm off to bed. I thought we'd check on the protein balls. I might try one and tell you what they're like. All right, here they are. Dun, dun, dun. Do they look like little poos? <laughs> Probably. I'm going to have one though. I'll choose that little tiny one there. At least they're harder. Going for it. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Hmm. Mmm. -mm. Yummy. They're um well. Interesting. I think I should have shouldn't have added the milk. That was when I was using a different food processor that wasn't very good. So they're probably a bit too wet. They're quite squishy. Not very sweet, but there's no sugar in them. It's okay. I think it'd be better with a cup of tea or coffee. Isn't everything? It grows on you. <laughs> right, well that's it. I'm in bed. I'm all ready to go to sleep. So I thought I'd say goodnight. And thank you very much for watching. Sorry if it was a bit dull. And speak very soon. Bye bye.